Hi everybody, Joe Roncato, the Air Gun Scientist here, and we are at the beautiful Top Gun Air Gun Ranch. It's a gorgeous day today. Uh, it's in the 70s, weather is just about perfect. Wind is kind of gusty, it's a little bit strong. Uh, so we're gonna be doing some 50 yard groups. Uh, we're gonna start at 50 yards. I think we're probably gonna have to stay there with the way the wind is gusting. We're using two guns today. We have the Zebroya Kozak in 330 millimeter barrel and the Zebroya Kozak in 450. Now they also make a 550. The 450 and 550 are identical in appearance. Uh, the power levels are the same. So we only brought the 450. Uh, we also brought the 30, 330 millimeter barrel because it has the smaller tube. It's a little bit more of a backyard gun. And uh, we thought we'd compare those two. We're gonna be shooting both of those guns with 16 grain JSBs and 18 grain GS JSBs. So today we have the Zebroya Kozaks in 330 millimeter barrel and the 450 millimeter barrel. And as I said earlier, they make a 550 millimeter barrel as well, which is basically identical to a 450 in performance. The 550 and the 450 are both a 32, 34, 36 foot pound gun. The um, 330 will be a little bit less, so we're gonna crony it. Uh, today we're using a bit of an overkill scope. Uh, it's a Nexus element by element. Uh, because it's got the 30 millimeter, which is the same diameter as the uh, scope cam appendage. So we had to use the Nexus. In fact, I'll have to pull off the Titan and put this scope on the 450 simply because um, if we want to have the scope cam shots. So we'll go from there. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Here we are, put on the old glasses, make a spectacle of myself here. Look, you don't get paid for the jokes, okay? They're free. All right, here we go. So let's take a peek. Now, again, this is the You can see the wind is, it's a perfect level line. I get a little breeze now, I'm gonna take a break. We got a heavy breeze now, real heavy. Okay, so that was it for the 18 grain JSBs. Now we're gonna do the 16 grain JSBs. We're gonna to go to the target to the right. Or no, actually, let's see, where are we hitting? We'll do the target to the left. A little bit of wind coming up, number five.
All right, so that's it for the 16 and the 18 grains. These are the 16s that we just shot. So uh, middle center, 18 grains. Left center, 16 grains. Let's go see how we did. Let's take a walk down there. This is impressive to me. Uh, these are the 18 grains, and these are the 16 grains. Uh, I don't know if it was wind conditions, but you can kind of see how it just goes across from wind. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But those 16 grains just might be my preferred pellet. Um, we will see what we will see. That is a nice little group. Fingernail, one flyer. But uh, fingernail at 50 yards, not bad. Pinky fingernail, guys and gals. So put down in the comments, what do you think? Minute of squirrel head, definitely. Rabbit head, squirrel head. So um, I'm thinking that's doing pretty good. I like it better than the 18s. Was that due to the wind? Was it due to me? Was it due to the fact that I just finished a, 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 an iced tea? <laughs> uh, I don't know, we'll find out. Let's shoot, let's shoot the 450 neck. The more I look at these Abreus, the more I fall in love with them. Two features I like. Well, for one thing, they take a full 300 bar fill, which means I can just get my great white tank, plug it in here if I want to, and I can shoot tethered. I don't need a regulator or anything. Even if my tank is filled up, technically the 310 bar it goes. You can just crank that puppy up, let it just fill the tank and leave it on. Now, you've got so many shots in it, it doesn't matter. But my point is, I don't have to worry about looking at the pressure, or I could tether if I wanted to. That was the point I was making. Uh, the other thing I like about Zabroyas, fantastic guns. Even the big guys don't have this, or most of them. Lots of times, I'll be out hunting, load around in the chamber, walking around, you're in your golf cart, I don't care what you're, how you're shunting, hunting, but somehow you see your quarry, maybe it's a rabbit, and you go, oh, cool. And then you instinctively cock the gun, and you go, shoot, I just double loaded a pellet in there. So now you're gonna miss. So now you just gotta either shoot way out there and just dump both shots and possibly square, scare your quarry. So with the Zabroya brand, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a Hortizio, uh, this model, or, or a Sapsan, they won't double load. You cock the gun, it's cocked. You pull the lever back again, the magazine doesn't advance. So you don't double load. So that's a, that's a great feature. All right, so now we're going to take this. We're going to get our magazine, and we're going to chronograph it because uh, that's the one thing we want to do. We're... Short on camera, he's here. The, um, or I should say phones, because we're using one to take pictures and the other one to do double time for uh, the chronograph. So we're going here to our FX radar and we're gonna hit it. We're just gonna shoot these and see how they do. And let's do the uh, 16, let's do the 18 grains first, just for giggles. We're good. All right, so those velocities are with the 18.13 grain JSBs. So next we're gonna shoot these 15.89 uh, or 15.8 JSBs. Now the, the, the thing about these are, uh, these are an older stock. We have a bunch of these, literally a ton or more. And a lot of people like these because say, they say since they're the older dyes, they're fresher and all that kind of stuff. 
We have had excellent accuracy with them, as you're going to see uh, when we uh, do the target up front. So let's get some velocities. Ah, nice thing. See, I pulled the hammer back, and she's not double loaded, which is good because I don't have the magazine loaded anyway. But I wouldn't have double loaded it. Oh, we're not uh, shooting. We're not How's that? That way you guys can hear it and see it. So I don't know if many of you noticed, but you should have, a lot of those were consistently 821. And that's the one thing, um, in fact, take a look at Rick Reams' uh, Shooter 1721, a good friend of mine who just happened to have one of these, and uh, he actually likes the Zabroya well too. He actually thought the, the chronograph was broken. It just kept on getting the same velocity all the time. And he was like, does this thing work? Uh, we'll put a link into his as well. So 821 seems like that's what she's going. And uh, yeah, 821, 819, 821, 823. Pretty, uh, pretty good there. Can't complain. Okay, now let's do the 450. This was the 330 millimeter barrel. Now we're gonna do the 450 millimeter barrel. Okay, we're gonna shoot the 15.8 grains and see how they do. So let's do 15.8 grains. She's uh, already set on the chronograph. Those three pellets are touching, uh, so that's not a bad group. Now I'm gonna adjust the scope down because it's shooting way high so that when we let you see through the viewfinder how this group's doing, but their three, three shots are touching really well. I am about, oh, let's take a look and tell you exactly. I'm roughly three and three quarters high. Uh, what are the units? MRADs, so I'm gonna come down. That's the beauty of a first focal plane scope. You just go down three and three quarter notches. So we're at five and a quarter. So uh, when I say we gotta come down, three and a quarter was that? Let's take a peek because my memory doesn't serve me all the time. Uh, yeah, three and three quarters. So let's go down, first of all, let's go down a full three and that'd be two and a quarter. Okay, and then uh, we gotta go down three quarters from that. So that's a quarter and that's a half. All right, so there we are. This should put us pretty doggone close, and then we gotta come over slightly, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm gonna say, let's do one to the right. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that should put us pretty doggone close. All right, now the velocity won't change, but we should be hitting much closer. Let's see where we hit now. Ah, diggity dog. I could live with that. That's definitely a minute of squirrel. I got it. I'm gonna get this last one off. I think that's pretty good. So we've got 928, 928, 926, 930, and a 921 in there, and a whole bunch of 930s and 928. So very accurate, and 30.2 foot pounds. Okay, so we're gonna shoot the JSB 18 grains. And, oh, we got to put that in the uh, info thingy there, in the, in the weights for the pellet. We'll make it that, that way you hear the weight. 18.13, and we put done, and then we go to general. All right, we're using the, um, what are we using? We're, we're using the FX chronograph. Um, let me see. And you figured I'd know how to use this thing better. Yeah, there we go. I got it back. We're using the, the FX uh, radar. A nice little unit. And we've got to load this up first. Uh, I like it because it doesn't matter on the lighting conditions, whether it's cloudy, sunny, and especially indoors, um, you cannot use ultraviolet or LED, which are becoming much more popular today. You know, it's hard to get an incandescent light bulb. I think by, I don't know what year, they're probably going to even outlaw them in our state if they haven't already. Shocker. All right, so there's our 10 rounds. Let's see where she shoots. You ready, Alex? All right. Yeah, I've been watching them. Sounds like it's pretty much 884, folks. I'm hearing a lot of 884s in there. And consistently. These are just awesome. Uh, these guns are so predictable in their velocities. Like I said, check out Rick Reams video. Shooter 1721, good guy. I'm sure if you're watching my if you're watching my videos, I'm sure you're watching uh, Rick's. He's a great guy. He does some. He's a tremendous shot. He had my son shooting one of these uh, back at his house. We live kind of close to each other in Pennsylvania, 
well, I own a house in Pennsylvania. And uh, he actually got my son Jonathan to shoot a playing card on edge at 20 yards. I was shocked. Standing, not on a bench, standing up. I have the video somewhere. If I can find that video, I'm gonna throw it up one day. He's a good guy, nice guy, very patient. And I'll be honest, it only, we, I think it took like a dozen shots for him to do it, but I'll be honest, that's better than I could have done. So that's it. We're out of ammo. Um, 884, 886, dead accurate, guys and gals. Okay, so now that we did the um, crony and we got the gun sighted in, now we'll do some groups. Okay, so we're gonna shoot the 18.13 grains next. See how things go. All right, I'm shooting. A couple of them touching right there, which is nice. Oh, that one, that one kind of went a little slower, it looks like. Oh, we should have turned on the crony for this, but we didn't. Oh, we can't do that because we're using the phone. I wonder if we could do multiple things. Probably. I pulled that one, I think. So that's 10 shots. So next, now we're doing the 16 grain, or I should say 15.8 to be exact. And uh, you, you got the crony numbers, you got the velocities, you saw the consistencies. Both of these, if our wind would kind of help us, would be nice. All right, here we go with the 16, or more accurately, 15.89s. Let's say how they do. We're gonna go for the lower, what is that? The lower left. All right, here we go. Yeah, you could tr critique when I should have pulled the hand. Ah, I should have pulled the trigger then. There's still those people. You got a couple. Like, dude. Here we go. 
Well, we'll get them showing the leaves blowing and all that kind of stuff. That's it. All right, so that's it. Let's go down there, take a peek, see how we did. So if you notice, I am carrying today, and it's not because I'm trying to do some macho thing, okay? Um, actually, a buddy of mine who was just here earlier, uh, he was, this is the largest population of mountain lions in the country, right in this area. And uh, we've actually heard them growling in this area. I haven't personally, but other people have. Uh, um, the owner, just the other, a couple of months ago, uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Jeff, that was out here was actually uh, in an incident where a person was attacked, a, a young woman was attacked, her girlfriend fought off the attacker, and previously uh, that day, uh, the same cat had killed a man and partially eaten him. So it, it, we actually do carry here, I carry all the time anyway, but I carry here for sure. <laughs> I'd feel really dumb if I got attacked by a cat and I didn't have it on me, especially out here. So that's just the reason why. So let's do a recap here. Uh, these are the 330 millimeter barrel, and these are from the 450 millimeter barrel. These are from the 18 grain, and these are from the 15.8 or 16, let's call them, 16 grains. Now you would think that the 16 grains are better shooting. Well, they're pretty close here. Um, actually, the 18 grains did exceptional. When we were doing the chronographs, where you were hearing the velocities, this is where I was sighting the gun in because I had to switch the scope. So we had to have a sighter and just kind of get it on. The 18 grains did fantastic. That's 10 shots. Um, I forgot what these were. I don't know if we did. Yeah, those are probably the 16 grain. But um, you can see each gun will shoot exceptional. Uh, these are 16 with the 330. These are 18 with the 880. Each gun shoots exceptionally well as long as you don't have a hurricane blowing at you there. So anyway, hope you had as much fun as we did today. This is Joe Broncato, the air gun scientist saying take care, God bless. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We're growing every day and it's because of you. Safe shooting.